I know, I'm wearing two jackets right now. We were just yeah, celebrating we're gonna, we're gonna our 100, 500, 100 viewers. 250 soon. We got the oil cooler back and it's looking really nice. This little shop we kind of sourced the work for, they just finished up the last oil cooler they're ever doing on the automotive application, so we got really lucky. But considering that this thing is, what, how old is your car, 2003? Uh, 16 years old? 16? 16, yeah. 16 years old. This is the original oil cooler. It doesn't have any leaks, but it was, beginning to show very high oil temperatures and this is probably the reason why. This was a packet that they gave us after they went ahead and cleaned the oil cooler. Some of it is material like rocks that were on the outside but some of this was also inside the oil cooler as well and they had to flush it out three times because it was so gummed up inside that they just kept getting stuff just coming right out of the oil cooler so yeah, I mean, it was just a good idea to get this uh, professionally, prof ultrasonically professionally clean instead of trying to just flush brake cleaner that we were going to do initially because had we done that, who knows what kind of stuff we would have flushed into, loosened up in here and flushed it into the motor and, you know, caused all kinds of issues. So now that we got it back and it's looking really nice, we can go ahead and re uh, put it back into the car. Uh, before we do that, there is a couple of things that we uh, bought before we before we put this back in. These are the two O-rings that sit over here on the, essentially the flat fitting over here so there's no leaks. Make sure you get two of them and get brand new ones, get OEM ones, don't get any cheap stuff and don't reuse them because you'll probably have a leak. And then we're also gonna be replacing the ambient air temperature sensor which sits on the left, lower the left driver, driver, driver side, side of like the fender well. So Jay's car is, his sensor is either unplugged or broken because on the cluster it, re it reads 122 degrees and from what I read on numerous forums on online uh, kind of people debating that this also plays a role I guess in how hot the oil temperature is showing on the gauge cluster. I don't think it's true but I mean this wasn't a very expensive part so we're just going to fix it while we're underneath there. But. I mean, if you've watched our last video, you know exactly what tools you need and it's already been outlined. This is pretty much just the reverse of the removal process, so it's going to go pretty quickly. It shouldn't take you no more than 30 minutes to put it back together and go from there. So, let's get to it. So this is how the uh, oil cooler sits in the shroud. It just pretty much just slides back in. Um, just say if you don't know which way it gets back on, there's like a little cutout right here that's cut out for the opening for the where the lines come out. So just make sure to put that. And then there's these two, um, I don't know what to call these honestly. They seem like these attached to the bumper, but for some reason they were already loose. I think they're for the license plate holder if I recall, if, I, if I'm correct. Actually, I just figured out what these are for. They're for that. So they go right there. Oh! So, there you go. We're done. Yeah, we're pretty, that was pretty uh, All right, this is not a DIY anymore. But thank God we, we figured it out. <laughs> Let me uh, get the lube. The lube. Oh Let God, me. here we go, here we go, super lube. Do, 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 do. That's gonna be our ass. I know, man. If you guys don't have this, go to your local Harbor Freight. It's like a couple bucks. Best or, wa or Walmart. Yeah, no, Harbor Freight. <laughs> I'm kidding. Best silicone lube I've ever used for O-rings. It's like two, three bucks. Grab it. But whenever you're working with uh, new O-rings, whether it's this, um, like an oil cooler or fuel injection O-rings or anything like that, uh, just a quick pro tip, just put a little dab on the O-ring so when you put the sandwich plate fitting on, it doesn't roll it. So, just a, uh, you know, little little tips to help you guys out. But we're gonna go ahead and put the new ones on and get ready to put the put it in the car. If you guys are wondering, these O-rings just sit in the grooves right here. You'll know when it's in correctly when you see them kind of sit like that. Now that we've got the O-rings in, it's time to get ready to put this back into the car. It is not helpful that we're doing this at night, but you know, work. I mean, 
If you guys haven't seen our previous videos, uh, we typically like to work at night. And that's just by design because we start something in the day. And oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. Sorry. Don't kill yourself now. We start something in the day and we give ourselves like a couple hours and then things don't go to plan and we realize it takes four or five times as long. Cue so. the coilover video. <laughs> yeah, cue the... Uh, all the videos <laughs> all the videos i mean quite literally if you go watch our videos which you should honestly you will literally see we start in the day and for some reason we end at night so yeah, um man. you guys probably know that struggle pretty well so but other than that it's time to lay out some of the hardware we've got the t40 got the t40 bolt for the sandwich plate right here we've got the two uh, four t25 bolts and a couple of the um under tray bolts as well and that's pretty much it. You're gonna be mostly, to put this back on, you're gonna be using the four T25 volts and the one T40 volt to put this all back together and that's pretty much it, so. Cool. So like we mentioned in the previous video, I uh, wrapped these up so stuff wouldn't get in because I knew the cooler wasn't gonna come back right away. So let's just clean that up. And it kept stuff from leaking onto my driveway, so that's kind of a good thing. Oh shit! No, I just leaked more stuff on my driveway. You can see the the sensor from right here. It's right there, right? Yeah, that's the that's sensor. A, that's gonna be easy. To put this oil cooler back on, I'm gonna want to carefully grab everything, and it slots pretty much like right here, I think. <laughs> and then let's go ahead and put these back on. So we don't get oil leaking all over the place. Speaking of spilling, I spilled coffee on myself earlier today. But I chose the perfect day, uh, day to wear brown pants, so. So it blended in. So it blended in, exactly. Oh, oh get peed on. Water there. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> car, dude. I know I mentioned where the O-rings go. It actually might be easier to just put the O-rings on the line themselves and then push it in to the oil cooler. Probably easier that way. Put the T40 bolt in, just hand tight. We'll torque this to spec in a bit. Yes, there is a torque spec for this. Now we just gotta put the T25s in while trying to hold this up and not have it crash down on my face. What? Stupid thing. You gotta make sure you also line those little notches up correctly so you can put the uh, bolts on on the bottom might take some wiggling to do so, but you'll know you'll have them right when you can put the bolts in. And that goes in like that, and then there's one more. Remember, there's two on the sides right here, and then two on the bottom. Tor the torque spec on the T40 bolt right here for the sandwich plate is 14 foot pounds. So make sure you torque it to 14 foot pounds. Oh, there it is. Cool. Now we just gotta fill oil and Wait. do all that good stuff. Sensor. I know why your sensor is not working. Why? The wires broke it behind. It. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's why. I'm fucking afraid. And from when I seen that, like, you push that in, and then you take out the wire. There you go. Wow. Oh shit. How does that even happen? Fucking Mickey Mouse hack job. This sensor could be fucking good, for all we know. So we just took the sensor out, the ambient air temperature sensor out. Um, in order to get it out, you just gotta push it back and it'll clip right out. But the, we found the reason why was Jay's car wasn't working on that because it looks like 
for some reason the wires just got cut and uh, that's not a good thing. So we're gonna have to fix this first and then go from there. So we'll get to that right now. So this just turned into an oil cooler installed to fixing a broken a wire. Ambient sensor wire. Yeah. I do believe um, BMW does sell like extra harness, but we can get it. So we just have to kind of make it our own. decide to do this to your ambient air temperature sensor do know there is a blue and a red stripe wire and there's a blue and a brown stripe wire so make sure to match them up to the same wires are that are on the, the car don't want to mix them up temperature sensors back in just got to put everything back together we'll leave the uh, under tray off for the meantime we're gonna check for oil leaks and all that make sure nothing's leaking over here and then that should be it let's get everything underneath oh shit don't touch that mandatory OSHA break so we've got everything wrapped up underneath We've got the oil cooler in, we've got the ambient temperature sensor in along with the fixed wires that were all frayed and broken, so that's all taken care of. The only thing we've got to do now is check the oil level and we're going to prime the oil cooler so oil flows in it. And the way I do that is I'll crank the car for just a quick second, turn it back off, crank it again for a quick second, turn it back off and do that for... 10 times or so and then check the oil level and then add and top off as you go and then we'll start it and make sure there's no leaks. place you'll be looking for leaks is where you disconnected the lines that's pretty much it um, but I don't see any so let's just check the oil Got to pretty much put the uh, under tray back on and then drop the car, check the oil level, and then uh, finish it off from there. So that pretty much wraps up the entire oil cooler install for this car. It's pretty straightforward, it doesn't really take too long. If you decide to do the ambient air temperature sensor, just be aware you might have to fix those wires like how we had to do it, but it doesn't take much time. In all, I'd rate this one probably like a three out of 10 in terms of install. It's pretty straightforward. Anybody with basic hand tools can do this in a weekend. It's just if you were gonna send it out for ultrasonic cleaning, you're gonna have to find somebody in your area that can do automotive stuff. Um, so you'll just have to Google search wherever you're at. But so for the last part of the install, you want to just start the car, let it warm up, get up to operating temperature on the coolant, but also on the oil temperature as well. You want to make sure that the thermostat and the oil filter will allow oil to start flowing into the oil cooler. Um, and then you'll be able to accurately check the oil level then once oil has flown through there. So just be sure to do that before you go out and start, you know, romping on the car or anything. And also double check for any oil leaks. In our case, there's no oil leaks. We torqued everything, everything's great. So, uh, like I said, everything's been a, it's been a straightforward install. Uh, we're kind of running out of things to do on this car. So, I mean, but 
we'll, we'll definitely keep you guys updated. There's going to be more stuff, I, I'm pretty sure. This won't be the last time I won't be working on this car, so <laughs> just stay tuned. Make sure to hit that like, that subscribe button. Make sure to like, comment, rate, subscribe. Do everything you guys usually do on all of the other YouTube channels. Uh, we appreciate the support, the love, you know. We're trying to grow this little channel a little more and try to be a little more like in depth and, and you probably noticed the intros and the outros. We're trying to do things a little nicer for you guys. But other than that, I think uh, that wraps up this video, so. Alrighty guys, peace.